Welcome to my explanation about what is owner's equity. In this video, I will try to give you a conceptual overview. It will only be about 60 seconds of a boring discussion before I give you a very clear and common sense, down to earth example. Owner's equity officially is defined as the amount of ownership rights or ownership claim that someone has in an asset or even an entire business. In accounting, we can measure owner's equity in dollar amounts. The ideas are common sense and we deal with the ideas of owner's equity every day, all the time, without even any object or any business can be owned by more than one person. In any case, the value of the object or the whole business will always be equal to the ownership claim that people have in that business. So whether you're talking about two people buying a car together, two people buying a house together, or even two people owning a company, it will always be the case that the value of the car or the house or the company is equal to the ownership claim or the ownership rights of the people who own it. What owner's equity does is it helps you measure how much of the object do you actually own. Of course, the person who owns more has more claim or more ownership rights. That doesn't mean that the person who contributed less cannot use the car or cannot uh, have a say in the running of the company. It just means we measure the amount of claim or the amount of rights in an asset or a business based on how much someone sacrificed and invested. And owner's equity works the same on one object or an entire business. So if I give you an example of an asset, it would behave the same as if I were talking about an, an entire business. So let's start with a simple example. Sh Sally and Sharon buy a car together. The car costs a thousand dollars. Sally gives six hundred towards the purchase of the car and Sharon pays the other four hundred. Obviously Sally has sixty percent ownership claim and Sharon has 40% ownership claim in the car. So here's the car, and the value of the asset is equal to who has a claim to the asset. Sally has 60% ownership claim because she paid 60% of the purchase price, and Sharon has 40% claim because she paid 40% of the purchase price. Question one. Can Sally tell Sharon that Sharon cannot use the car? Well, of course not. If you contributed some of the money for purchasing the car, you get to use the car. This does not mean that you can only use the front half of the car because you only contributed approximately half. We're not talking about physically measuring what parts of the car are owned by which owner. It doesn't work that way. The whole car is owned by both, and they both have a certain amount of rights to use it. Question two. If they agree they must paint the car only one color, should it be the color that Sharon wants or the color that Sally wants? Well, this is an either-or situation. This is not a question of distributing the time that the car will be used. And of course, it's not a question of physically how much of the physical car is owned by both. We're talking about the car has to be either this color or that color. And I think you know in a situation like this, obviously the person who contributed more will get their way in an either or situation like deciding what color to paint the car. Now here is a second example. Let's imagine that you want to buy a house and the price of the house, which is the value of the house, is 100000 And we know the value of the house is equal to the claim against the house. So how do you buy a house? Well, 
you have to come up with a down payment for yourself from your own personal money. And let's imagine the down payment that your bank required was 20000 And let's imagine the bank would give you 80000 in a mortgage. That would give you the ability to buy the entire house for $100,000. In this example, the house is a metaphor for an entire business. You would invest money from your own pocket and then borrow money from the bank. So here would represent your investment coming from your own pocket. This would represent the money you buy from the bank. And the house would represent all the assets together of a business. Now this introduces you to the fundamental accounting equation, which is the assets of a business are equal to the liabilities plus the owner's equity of the business. The value of the business, which all the assets together, is equal to what the business owes because we know that liabilities, like a mortgage, is money that the company owes. And the owner's equity represents the amount that the owner took from their own personal pocket and put into the business. Just like the person took from their own pocket and put into the house. Now, you can see this is represented by the fundamental accounting equation. And what I'm now going to demonstrate is that the accounting equation stays equal after each transaction. For example, let's pay $5,000 towards the mortgage to reduce the mortgage. Well, if we pay $5,000 towards the mortgage, the mortgage will decrease by $5,000. However, if we are the ones taking from our personal pocket and paying the mortgage, that means the amount that we invested in the house from our personal money is now more. We originally invested $20,000, but now we're investing an additional $5,000 to pay down the mortgage. So the house is still worth $100,000, but now the mortgage has decreased to $75,000 because we just paid some down. And our owner's equity goes up to 25,000 because we now invested an additional 5,000. Let's invest 10,000. By the way, now the numbers look like this. Now the numbers are $100,000 is still the value of the house. The mortgage is now 75. The down payment or at least the owner's equity is now 25,000. Let's invest 10,000 to add a room. Well, if we add physically something to the house that we paid 10000 for, it would make sense that the value of the house would, de would increase by approximately $10,000. But that means that we invested $10,000 more from our own personal pocket into the house, which makes our owner's equity go up by 10000 And now the value of the house is 110000 the mortgage didn't change when we built the room, but our owner's equity went up to 35000 because we put 10000 more in the house. Therefore, the equation remains equal after each transaction. Now let's try an example, but this time, instead of a house or a car, we'll use an entire company. And you will see that the value of the assets of the company are equal to the liabilities, meaning all of the debt of that company, plus the owner's investment or the owner's equity in that company. So let's imagine this company has 10000 in cash, 20000 in equipment, and a car worth $5,000. Well, an elementary school child can tell you that means the total assets on the left are $35,000. That means the liabilities and the equity on the right side of the equal sign should also total uh, $35,000. So let's imagine this company has a $15,000 bank loan outstanding. And that would mean that the owner had to invest from his or her pocket $20,000 at least in order to buy these assets that total $35,000. 15 came from the bank and 20 came from the owner. 
Now let's imagine our first transaction. Let's imagine the company buys another car for 3000 And of course, if it comes from the company money, that means the company's cash will decrease by $3,000. However, even though the company has $3,000 less in cash, the company has $3,000 more of a car. That means that after this transaction, the company only has $7,000 in cash, but it actually has $8,000 in, in cars instead of just $5,000. And of course, the equipment didn't change, and we didn't have to take a bank loan for this car. We paid from the company cash, and it didn't come from the owner's investment. So after the transaction of the company giving cash and buying the car, the accounting equation stays the same. Now let's look at this transaction. The owner invests 5000 more of personal equipment. This means that the owner took equipment that he or she was using at home, not for the business, and actually brings it to the business to use for the business. Well, that means that the company has $5,000 more of equipment, but it also means that the owner invested $5,000 more of their personal value into the company. So that means that we now have $25,000 of equipment, and that means the total value that the owner invested was $25,000. Of course, all the other numbers stay the same. They have not changed in this transaction. Let's try another one. Let's imagine that we pay $2,000 to decrease the bank loan. Well, if we pay $2,000 to decrease the bank loan, that means that the company has $2,000 less cash, equaling $5,000, but it means that we have $2,000 less in debt. We owe the bank $2,000 less because we just paid the bank loan. So after this transaction, we only owe the bank $13,000, and we only have $5,000 cash. And because none of the other numbers changed in this transaction, you can see that the total assets on the left, which happen to equal 38000 are still equal to the liabilities plus the equity on the right, which equals 38000 So you see... The equation will stay equal after each transaction.